We're taking over, no evictions, no foreclosures, hey! 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 So, I want to thank everybody for coming. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yeah. I want to thank everybody coming, for everybody from coming. I'm Ryan from Take Bank to Land Rochester. See a lot of people that have been here from the beginning. Yeah. 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 I, I see a lot of neighbors here. Um, but um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not coming. Okay. A, a lot of people already know the news, but this is just kind of a formal way to announce yeah. it to the community. And um, so, just just to say, just from the beginning, um, just as a technical point, um, Kathy entered into a settlement with um, Bank of America. So, and so as a part of the confidentiality agreement, she can't speak about the settlement. So, so, so any any questions about that? She can't speak about exactly what was read on. But the reason why we're here is what we can tell from the public records um, was within a, about a week ago was that the house was deeded from Bank of America to Catherine Lennon. Based on that, first we know that Catherine is home, and she's home for good. Okay. Yeah. 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 The second thing about that is what we can tell from the public records is not only was the house deeded back to to Catherine, but it was deeded back without a mortgage. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is this is a incredible um, end to an to a really long struggle, right? And as far as we know, this is an unprecedented victory, right? That's what I say. That's what I say. Yeah. We love it. Yeah. Uh, yes. Catherine was one of the first people um, in the yeah. in the wake of the foreclosure crisis to stand up and say, "I'm going to stay in my That's home." Right. Do that. Right. Do that. Yeah. yeah. Come on, y'all. Come on. Yeah. at all costs and she set a lot of the inspiration for people all over the country there, okay now there were specific organizations that were founded specifically because of Catherine there was a mm -hmm. organization in North Carolina which started up and they said just because of you and your struggle we were so inspired wow. right <laughs> they got Catherine's number through a friend and they called her up and they said we're gonna start and we're gonna be fighting foreclosures in Raleigh North Carolina Do that. That's yeah. what we want. Yeah. struggle was really an insp inspiration for people in other take back the land chapters in Chicago in Portland oh, in yeah. Miami Washington mm -hmm. DC mm -hmm. and also set the stage for a lot of the um, Occupy homes movements when the Occupy movement yeah. came around there were chapters that were founded all over the country that were also fighting foreclosure and right. Catherine's case was really a her struggle and her determination is really a testament to what was possible yeah. because eight. because a lot of people thought well this is a David and Goliath battle but we, we're used to Goliath always winning. That's right. That's right. right. That's right. That's what we're we do. We fight to win. But in this case, right, we show that if people come together, that we can defeat anybody. We can take on the most powerful institutions in the world, That's right. the banks. Yeah. And we can win if we come together. That's right. And we fight for the human right to housing. Got to mm -hmm. do it. Because we think this is a moral question. It's not just about interest rates mm -hmm. and mortgages it's about that but it's it's about more than that it's a moral question we believe everybody has the right to housing and everybody has the right to raise their family in peace and security with affordable housing that they can provide for everybody and this and this is what we're fighting for 
And as I said, in some ways, this is this is the end of a large struggle, a long struggle. But in other ways, it's really the beginning. The beginning. Yep. This is happening. Yeah. This is where it's at. Yeah. Started here. Send the banker to jail. We'll celebrate again. Yeah. 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 We'll do it again and again and again and again. And we think this is the beginning because all along we thought after all the pain and suffering that Catherine and her family have gone through, and after all the billions, what ended up being trillions of dollars we gave to these banks, we gave billions to Bank of America, we gave billions to Fannie Mae, after all of Don't that. Don't forget Wells Fargo. Right. <laughs> Midland's Bank <laughs> Payment Mortgage. And, 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 gave it all to them. Middle Mortgage. After, after, after yeah. all of that, that we believe these houses need to be coming back to the community. To and, and, and we need to be start getting beyond the debt society and, and, this, and, and all of these mortgages mm -hmm. and all of this idea that everybody has to live in debt and everybody has to um, basically either if you're a renter, your landlord has to bow down to a bank or if you're a homeowner. We want to get beyond that. We believe housing is a right. It's not a commodity to be speculated on, bought and sold in the market. We believe that if we can decommodify and put it back in control of the community, that's how we can provide yeah. housing as a human right for everybody. And this is the first case of that, where they, the banks finally got the message from the community. They mm -hmm. donated the house back. And we think this is going to be the beginning of a movement where people are not just fighting back, but they're starting to transform their communities That's and where cool. everybody has access to quality, affordable housing. And, um, and I just want to turn it over to what um, this person here, what Van Jones called, um, who is the uh, former Obama official, and a community activist <laughs> called the Rosa Parks of the foreclosure oh, crisis. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it, baby. Do it, do it. First of all, I would like to give honors and my glory to God who's ahead and in control of my life today. Praise the Lord. I want to say right now today, the, advoc the advocates came. They've, here, it, they've been here. I want to thank Ryan Acock with Take Back the Land Rochester. Yeah. 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 I, want to, I want to thank Rob and Max Ramo. Okay. I want to thank yeah. all of my angels that's out here with me today. Right. <laughs> I want to thank everybody. I want to thank Ted Forsyth for being there today. Today. I want to thank all my advocates. I do want to thank the Empire Justice System. I do want to thank Becky Case, Kevin Purcell, Terry Brownsteiner, and I also would love to thank Bank of America. Okay. <laughs> I would love to thank them because I'm not going to go back because I've overcame that. I've overcome now. You know, I'm here. I'm home, and I'm here now, and I'm here to stay. Okay. Nice. I'm here to stay. Yeah. Right. Now, okay, what I went through, I went through for everybody. So if I'm here to stay, we ain't going nowhere. Nobody is. Right. 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 And I just want to say thank you so, 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 so much. And I do. I learned to have, I learned to have faith in the justice system. I learned to have faith. And I, right now, it's all about faith. I have faith and I'm going to keep my faith. Oh God, but I just want to just, this lady, right oh God, no, no. I love them so much. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to thank my children also because they went through pure hell with me. I want to thank my grandkids too because I want to thank them all. I just want to thank all you angels and I just want to just close by saying God is with us. Yes, He's he here. He's walking right here. He's on this earth now. We walk, ooh, we all right now. I say we all right. We all right and we here to stay. We ain't going nowhere. Thank you everybody and all my angels. All right. Thank you. Thank you. You know, there's really a lot of people that have been involved in making this happen. Yes. Right? There's been Metro Justice has been there Metro every Justice. step of I'm the way. Yeah. All the programs Metro Justice on the, is up on the front line. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Be here for me now. That's right. what I'm saying. We Metro have, Justice. We, we, Metro Justice. <laughs> 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 we've had organizations all over the country, the National Economic Social Rights Initiative. Center for Constitutional Rights, as Becky said, Empire Justice Center. We have people all over 
This was a community effort. Mm -hmm. This was everybody coming together. And that's what makes these type of victories possible. Mm -hmm. The stronger we are in solidarity, we can win any battle. That's right. Whether it be housing, workers' rights, mm -hmm. health care, whatever mm -hmm. it is, mm -hmm. if we come together, we have to believe anything is possible. So I just want to thank everybody for coming. And um, this is all of our victories. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank So come on here, come on back now. <laughs> Three thirty hey. tomorrow, potluck right here. Hey, we're taking over. No evictions, no foreclosures. 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 Hey. We're taking over, no evictions, no foreclosures. Hey, we're taking over, no evictions, no foreclosures. Hey, thank you. Yeah. Wow, I'm I'm flabbergasted right now today because oof, this this was a fight of ours. This was a fight that we made sure that we was not gonna lose. It took us a long time, but we we conquered it. I am also in foreclosure with my mom's house. Uh, my mother been in her house for 47 years. My mother's deceased. She passed away on my birthday, 29. And um, I've been I've been holding her house ever since then. I've put almost about $10,000 in the house as far as repairs. In it. The house 135 years old. My mom been there 47. So I've been there since she left. And I'm not going to let anything happen to my mom. So if I have to go and fight like this right here, I'm doing it. If I got to butt neck and walk Main Street, I'm going to do it. <laughs> but, I mean, Take Back the Land has been a, a big inspiration to me in a whole lot of ways. Not just um, with my mom's house or with all of my other uh, peers. I, I say peers because we, we stick together, not just in our meetings. We stick together at home. We, we, you know, we, we um, invite each other over. We, you know, it's, it's just a thing that take back the land is just not to fight the banks, the enemy. Take back the land is also to put smiles and people's faces in on their hearts. And that's all we made of. We are made of number love. Take back the land. That beautiful lady right there, that's my sister girl. I call her my sister girl. But she, she's one of those ones with that head on her shoulder that don't mind getting out of there, putting her time in that she don't really have, but she would, she would you know, take, take and make it possible for her. That, that one project to be complete. And that's why I take to her. I take to her completely because I know her from, you know, back in the days, but then also here we Take Back the Land. And I mean, Take Back the Land is just not here for the housing things. We're family. We're a big old family that just give love and hugs. <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of, like, stunned. I'm really stunned. Um, you know, uh, Kathy looks great, but it just like it took years off people's lives. It literally did. I mean, it was like it was like stress, like like nobody's business, especially at the point where uh, sort of the, the layers of the onion were being unpeeled. We were finding out what was going on. We knew that there was a fraud, um, but it wasn't well documented yet. We f we found the fraud. You know, doing the research. Uh, finding out about the, uh, the foreclosure mill in Buffalo, Stephen J. Baum, which has been shut down uh, in disgrace. Um, so it just was, it was, that was the difficult moment when you're, you're telling people what's going on and they're saying, no, you know, these people just need to pay their mortgage. And we're like, no, uh, <laughs> you know, they're, uh, they, they want to seize the houses for their, you know, for their balance sheet. And there's all kinds of people along the way who make money, the, the lawyers with the foreclosure mill, uh, uh, the uh, the real estate specialists who, who uh, specialize in like uh, sort of bulk lots of these uh, these foreclosed houses. Uh, the fact that the bank wouldn't communicate with her, she was trying to pay the mortgage, they wouldn't let her uh, because her uh, her husband had died, and uh, you know the name the title wasn't in her name, so they they refused to take her mortgages. Her 
the payment, when they would talk to her, um, it was just, they stonewalled her. It was just really terrible. And kind of, you know, kind of seeing the uh, sort of the evolution of people's thought, the curve of, uh, you know, the learning curve for everybody in the, uh, you know, in the community uh, was really something. So this is wonderful, and I really hope that people realize that if, Catherine, Kathy, you know, a, a grandmother, a widow, could stand up to these people. With, with your community support, uh, you don't have to lose your house. And, you know, people really need to know that um, it's still going on. You know, they, they, they cut the lawns of these places and keep them tidy so that it doesn't look like they're abandoned properties. Um, but it's, it's, still, uh, it, it's still a plague on our community. It's deconstructing our community. And uh, we didn't get any help from government, even though we uh, told them what was going on. Uh, we sure didn't get help with the police. At one point, there was a whole SWAT team that came here. Um, and they were, they were proud of it. We, you know, uh, Take Back the Land and uh, uh, Indie Media foiled the, uh, foiled the report for what happened. They had a whole city bus ready to take protesters away. They had uh, they had a SWAT team. Uh, there's, there's film up there that you can see of it where they were just very pleased with themselves. I think uh, I think the commander of that operation, I think his name was Farina, is gone. I think he uh, lost his job. They can't talk about it because it's, you know, personnel, uh, you know, issues, so they can't uh, talk about it publicly, but he's gone. Um, so, you know, uh, Martin Luther King said the arc of the universe is long, but it bends toward justice, and that's proof of that today. He's, he's absolutely right. People collectively can stand up to just about anything, and I, I I hope they do. I hope I hope we stop this. I hope we keep it from happening. Well, it's, it, it's fantastic. It, I was um, I was very surprised, very surprised. But I thought that uh, Bank of America passed the buck a long time ago. It's uh, good to see that they did the right thing. Yeah, I think it's awesome. And I, I really hope it can be like um, precedent setting in sort of a way. Um, I sort of see this as like a victory against the banks, but also against like the established legal system and the legal route. Like we were um, sort of, we were making this demand to the bank, um, like from the very beginning, that they donate the house and like put it, like just give it right back to Kathy and have it put into a land trust. Um, but every step of the way, um, you know, like her legal help was like standing in the way of that and saying that no, that couldn't be done um, when it's really not that difficult of a thing to ask. Um, so we hope that this like clears up some of that, uh, some of the, that the misconceptions about you know taking taking housing like off the uh, off the market and putting it into the hands of the community. And I hope that it's a precedent and we can recreate this all throughout the city and all throughout the country. The results of this is a, is is a great example of what could happen when when uh, people involved with resistance don't weaken um, demands. Come on strong, be stubborn. I got a picture of Mike. Um, just, just go for it. Fight. Organize. Stand strong and be organized. <laughs> right now I am feeling like a flower that has blossomed. <laughs> I feel like a oh like a one of those big one of those one of those one of those big sunflowers that got the big old sunflower thing, that's what I feel. I feel like I'm just very blessed. I feel like I have so much love. I feel like I have angels. I feel like I have, I feel like I have the world and, I, and it's in a good way. I feel so grateful. I got so many reasons, so many reasons to be grateful. And all of these people standing behind, oh my God, oh my God. Look, look how, how, how can I feel, but, but great. I have angels with me. I have angels all around me. I feel wonderful. The first day I said, oh, I don't want, I want to throw in a towel and everything. That's when Ryan Acoff called me through the airwaves. And, and my advocate came to me. And it, I've been 
rise in every sense. Oh, I want to give give people take back the land. I don't want to tell them about it. Just give you take back the land. Take back the land. It goes without saying. Look at me. Look where I am. I couldn't get through this way. And, but through, Ryan Acuff would take back the through, take back the land, Rochester. That you know, yes. Next for me is to get the movement going. Stay in the movement. Keep with the movement, and keep keep going with the movement. I love you. That's all. I, that's all I can say is love. That's all I can say. Thank you. I got so many reasons to be grateful. And I just love Ryan. I love him so much. I love him. I love, I just love all y'all. Everybody. 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 Where you at, Ryan? Where you at, Ryan? <laughs> we love Kathy, too. <laughs> we love Kathy, too. It's all about you. Too. It's all about you. And I love me, too. There you go. So you guys want to do like a big group hug now or something? I'm going to take group hug. Group yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh. Group hug. Group hug. Yeah. 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 Oh, you get to be in the middle of it. Thank you, Amy. Oh, you I are. love you, Bobby. You're done lost in here. You're doing Panthers right now. Oh. You're doing really something. Get in there, Joe. <laughs> I'm a whoop. Holy shit. Hey, there's another guy. Big, we're turning to the camera. Oh. <laughs> you got this, Ted? Yeah, yeah. I got all of this. Big hugs. Oh, right. We love us. <laughs> yeah. We love us. We love us. Oh, yes. All of us. Take back our land. That's what it is. We're going to do it. It's like a relief off of your shoulder, you know? Yeah. You know, when the pressure eliminates itself. You know that way? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So what I'm saying is it's a good feeling. Good it's feeling. a common sense issue. The only thing I could say is stay strong. Believe in what you're doing. That's all I can say. The best way At the end of every revolution, always people win. Uh, they will always people want because they and no amount of power, weapon, can overcome people. They don't have no affiliation. We won. Always people win. We try to bring people. We try to bring people who go to for culture. We're gonna be compassing and bringing them out and let them know there is hope. A bit more and there is justice. So if they unite, they will win. I don't know. We're, gonna, we're, gonna we're trying to help them unite. Yeah. Let's look. Let's bring us. Fight back. I just think it's it's extraordinary. Just so emotional after all the ups and downs, and um, but it really shows that. Um, when, when we come together and we change the conversation to the moral questions, um, you know, as opposed to the dollars and cents and the interest rates and payment plans and all that stuff that when, when we really make it a moral question, um, that's, that's the conversation we want to have. And, we can, and, and, and once we recognize human rights, economic human rights, the right to housing, everything else becomes possible from there. And that's why through this we want to change the conversation around community control over land and housing. And we want hundreds of thousands of houses given back to the community, taken away from the bank, taken out of these predatory mortgages, all of these, most of these mortgages and banks, they've got financial incentives to foreclose, and they're running spreadsheets while people, while they're trying to run people out of their houses. And we want to say, we want to take that out of the equation. We want to put people first, and that's why we're going to be continue to put pressure on them, be donating in mass back to the community, vacant bank-owned homes, and also um, people in foreclosure. We need, we need to keep. The houses in the community. We need to make sure there's permanent affordable housing for everybody because everybody deserves the right to live in security and peace with perpetual affordable housing. Um, because, yeah, I mean, I mean, everybody has dignity. Everybody has respect, and um, and that's why, and that's why we're fighting. So we're fighting for everybody.